Here's song number five of the demo disc. Let's have a quick listen. Well, now that the song has been put into internal memory, I can do things to it. I can make edits and changes. One of the things I can do is mute each of the individual sequence of tracks using these buttons down here. Switching each part on or off. Part nine, part 10. And you can see in the track display which parts are active. If they're not, then they've been grayed out. If they are, then they're in bold. Let's switch the other parts back on. Alternatively, I can use the shift control in conjunction with the part buttons to create a solo of each part. Part nine, part 10, part one, and so on. Okay, well, let's take a brief look at the performance that's used for this song. Pressing performance, we see user one saga. Well, this actually is a temporary performance that was loaded in automatically during the first two bars, two measures of the song. If I select a different performance and go back, I've lost the performance. It was simply in temporary memory. But that's fine because it means whenever the song is played back, the appropriate sounds will be loaded automatically. So once again, playing the beginning of the song should give us our performance back. Stop the sequence, go to performance, and there we go. Our temporary performance is reloaded.